I'm Eric Valfors, a musician and founder of SoundCloud. Yeah, music is, is, is definitely part of my life. I mean, my mother, she conducts a choir, she plays the organ, sort of hooking up the synthesizer and started to make music with that. And that's how I, how I got into both computers and music from very early on. Yeah, so we were thinking about different ideas and eventually we settled on this sort of very strong, simple concept, a notion of making sounds tangible, to make them visual, to make them social. And, and that sort of the idea that still today is, you know, is at the centerpiece of SoundCloud. I find inspiration in the city, I find inspiration in art, in fashion, in music, um, and I bring that back to technology and I think that that's that's why I really love being in Berlin as well, because you have all of those components and there is a tension, there is an interesting tension. And I don't think I could work with, you know, within the one or the other. I need both. Today, avant-garde is, for me, uh, is about bold ideas. It's about challenging vision. Um, it's about thinking outside of the box and living that. Um, so that, that would be avant-garde for me today. It's not necessarily an artist, it's not necessarily a um, thinker, um, but it's somebody who lives through new ideas. I met Ipe in 2001 through a friend of mine. Um, we right away meet on that level and start talking about crazy ideas and, and, and really fun, fun things. Um, he just brings these things together, disparate things, and combines them in new ways. And that inspires me a lot. I think he's a great guy. I, I remember when Nipa first told me that uh, he was going to create a new sport. And I thought, you know, you have to be joking. This is, it's such an endeavor trying to create a whole new sport and everything around it and you know push it. But at the same time I thought, I mean, Ip is one of these crazy people that is crazy enough to do something like that. Chess boxing is the combination of the number one fighting sport combined with the number one thinking sport. 11 rounds, 6 rounds of chess, 5 rounds of boxing, alternating rounds of chess and boxing, you win by either checkmate or knockout. Ultimately, uh, we create the smartest, toughest man on the planet. I was inspired by uh, a comic called The Cold Equator by Enki Bilal. And in this comic you see two men fighting for 12 rounds heavyweight boxing and then playing a grandmaster game of chess which lasts like four to five hours. And I was always fascinated by the idea. But of course I had to change the idea to make it into something that will you know, be entertaining in, in real life and that will function like it in the 21st century. Chess boxing was developed as, as, an, as an art performance but I always wanted it to like, have this touch of realness so that's why we said it's gonna be a real fight, it's gonna be real boxing, we're gonna train even harder, seriously, getting a chess coach and a boxing coach. Because the reaction is so honest, there's no irony, everybody was like so excited and said, okay, this can work in, in, in reality. And that for me was like the moment that I said, okay, this has to become real. So we pulled it out of the art world and we said, okay, this is, just a real sport. There was no sport that ever combined the physical and the mental part in such a radical way. It makes me very humble because you created something that people really truly enjoy. And that is really, really beautiful. I always think that's like amazing.